Sony. Ah, now we're into the Sony block. All right, so lots of, a fair amount of PlayStation news this week. Not much in the Xbox news, but lots of PlayStation news. So, uh, first up, Sony has sold an estimated 2.1-ish to 2.5-ish, depending on who you talk to, million PS5s on launch day. That's pretty good to have that many consoles available for purchase in the middle of a pandemic on launch day. I don't think that anyone could be particularly upset about that. That's pretty good numbers. They did try to reduce the amount of scalping by reducing it to local retail sellers pretty much only. Like there was no online component uh, to it. Not in the same way that you could with Xbox, for example. Um, But it still unfortunately happened. Of course it did. People are always going to do this kind of stuff. But we do know more about at least the people that some of the people that were aiming to get on board with this, with Sony's console. So, an online scalper group, so a group of people specifically, so it's not always just individuals, you know, not everyone knows this, when they think of scalpers, sometimes they just think of, like, somebody that just goes ahead, knows that they're gonna, they want to make a couple of bucks by buying a couple extra of whatever, whether it's tickets to a, uh, a game or, or, or a concert or whatever, and then they sell the others and they keep some for themselves. Sometimes they actually act in, and not, not, you know, or I should say often, they act in a group to make themselves even more powerful. And so, uh, a scalper group boasted that they had, this week, that they had 3,500 PlayStation 5s that they had, uh, that they were going to be turning around to sell at, obviously, a pretty reasonable profit online after having successfully picked up a bunch of these even through local retailers. Uh, they all work together to accrue this stockpile. And coincidentally now, they've got more stockpiled than most major retailers in the nation. So this one group has managed to scalp themselves <laughs> enough wow. consoles to, to be ahead of stock of things like fucking GameStop or Best Buy. Uh, they're sitting on this mountain of, uh, of consoles. And of course it is brought up uh, as... As, you know, it's not that this hasn't happened in the past, but it does seem like, especially with the advent of online shopping being easier and easier and easier over time, um, not that that applies to this specifically, but for like the graphics cards and processors, for example, that are new that come out, same problem happen. People are creating bots to buy the shit as soon as it goes up, etc., etc., making it nearly impossible for a not insignificant number of people to actually purchase the console that they want to play. And so many of them, thousands and thousands of thousands, are just getting into hands of people who have no intention of keeping them, but actually just turning around and selling them for 50 to 100% more than the retail price uh, of the item. Um, And so the, uh, the discussion going around a lot between retailers and uh, certainly with customers as well is how do we combat this to try and ensure that people that are actually attempting to have the game, the, the console in their hands, are getting it instead of just people who are literally just turning around and reselling them. It's like they, they're like one upping the retailers. It like it defeats the purpose of the retailer if it's just people people buying them en masse, you know. And there's the traditional things of you know you can only buy one per household or whatever the fuck else. So they try and and make it happen. But again, with online retailing, bots and shit have just made it like a cakewalk, uh, for this shit to the point where people are now calling things like the, the AMD graphics card launch, a paper launch, because it's like, yeah, they, they technically launched the card, but nobody fucking owns the godforsaken cards because they can't, (laughs) they can't buy the cards anywhere. Uh, and even though, uh, the discussion around the PlayStation selling two and a half mil or 2.1 mil, the question for people became how many of those were actually going into the hands of people playing the console versus how many of those were bought up for resale, um, and people were just sitting on them. And we don't know. A lot. Uh, And the answer is, while we don't know exactly, it's a lot. And so, yeah, what are your, what are your thoughts? I gotta go, tell me your thoughts about that situation while I turn off my heat pump before I die in this room, because it is fucking hot in here. (laughs) Uh, well, I mean, it's, uh, it's a free market, so people are gonna try and take advantage of it. Um... It was bound to happen. It happens on every single release of a console and many other things. Um, 
there really is only one way to stop all of this. There's only one way to make it so that people do not do this shit. And it's it's actually it's it's quite simple. That way is make more consoles and have them available to purchase. You see in a weird roundabout way a lot of these companies know exactly what they're doing. They only bring bring out so many consoles to keep demand high, to keep hype there, to get people wanting and have a, a have an urgency to go out and buy it. Because if I don't go out and buy this, I'm not going to have it. Because there's tons of people that, like myself, that will just wait. It's like, I don't need this console now. I can wait a little bit. But if I know that, hey, I might not get a console for a few months, uh, I might be more inclined to rush out there and try and get my hands on a console. Um, they know what they're doing and I, it shoots them in the, in the foot. And ultimately, Adam, you want to know the other, the other truth of it is Mm. these companies, Sony, Mm. they don't give a fuck. They don't care if you got your console, as long as the console sold, they sold two point something million consoles. Maybe 500,000, 600,000 of those units are people that bought multiple units. They don't give a fuck because guess what? Those, I don't know what just happened there. You're uh, right. You're those, good. those same people that are reselling those, those are still going into the hands of consumers and very quickly. So Sony don't care. Xbox don't care. Apple doesn't care. Um, sneaker companies don't give a fuck. They all do this on purpose. It's to create FOMO. It's to get people out there at the fear of missing out on an opportunity to pick one up. And they do this shit on purpose. If they really cared, they would pump out a mass amount of units and get them out there. Now, I understand it's COVID, but we can't make that excuse because for one, they sold two point something million units, which is a lot of units. And two, this happens during every release on almost everything that is that people want to buy. They do it on VR headsets. They do it on consoles. They do it on graphics cards. They do it on uh, on on iPhones and and any other piece of tech that is coming out. And these companies only release so much on purpose. It's their fault. And then you have people, smart individuals. They're not stupid. They know that there's a demand for it. And so they're going to go out there and they're going to buy because they know that these companies are only going to put out so much and they're going to go and profit from it. It's a scummy thing to do, but at the same time, it's a free market. If people are willing to pay twice the amount of a normal PlayStation 5, and somebody is willing to go to their way to buy an extra copy and make that investment, make the ad, send it out, make sure they do a proper transaction, and they get profited for that, or the individual on the other end goes, you know what, bro? I ain't waiting up until midnight and refreshing my screen and trying to get in there and go crazy. I got better things to do with my life. I'll pay the few extra hundred bucks because I don't give a fuck. There's tons of people out there like that where people's time is worth more than what they're actually paying. So, you know, in, in, in one, one way I, I see where people are coming from and why they're like, you know, this is scummy. Why would, you know, why in the hell does one scalping group need to have like 500 units of a PlayStation five when I can't even go to Walmart and pick one up? Like, I understand that, but ultimately you shouldn't get mad at the scalpers. You should be getting mad at Sony. Where the fuck are the consoles? You guys knew this was happening. This this happens every time. That's my two cents. Yeah, it's it's a complicated situation because, you know, for one, um, even so, Sony and Microsoft are are the most direct competitors to each other, right? We don't need to talk about Nintendo in this conversation because 
as far as the, the, the two consoles are concerned, those are really the only two that are directly competing with each other. So, so for Sony and Microsoft, they know that, so this is, I'll try to explain this from, from multiple sides. So from the, from the company's side, it's difficult because they know that they're operating on a, a window of time that you've got to release because your competitor is also going to release within a certain window. So you know plus or minus a couple of months. Eek. I don't know what that... that. Ah! <laughs> what did you do? do you... Smash my knee on the desk. Ah! Ah! Um, I'm okay. <laughs> so... So, you know that, like, for both of them, they know that plus or minus, you know, a month or two, they know roughly the window that their competitor is going to release their, their product. Mm -hmm. And you know that, um, especially given history, like historically with the consoles, if you wait too long to get your console out until afterwards, it is really hard to make up for that on the other side in terms of long-term sales of your, of your console. We saw this uh, in the past with, with previous launches. So they know that they want to get, you know, at best, within a couple of weeks of the launch of their competitor's console. Whether it's before their competitor or after, it wants to be within a couple of weeks at most. So, um, you also know that just because of how the world works, it's going to be most beneficial uh, to release this thing October, November of whatever given year. It's going to be, you know, you're not going to see many console launches, uh, when they have a direct competitor pop off in the middle of like fucking May. It's just not like unlikely going to be the, the, the case or like a February or some shit. So there's a known, a, a known rough window that they're looking at. And then they know that given supply of, um, of the parts that they need to create these consoles that they eventually settle on. They design the console, they know the parts, they know the prefabs that they need to have uh, in place, production on, and you know, this is COVID notwithstanding, which obviously threw a wrench in supply chains fucking all over the place. Especially, not, like, less in the summer months, but in the upfront in the first, like, six months of the year, it was a gong show for everyone. Supply chains were fucked. They have, like, this window of time to produce as many consoles as humanly possible previous to the launch day. Uh, and then however many consoles they have for that day, that's as much as they can hope for. And then, you know, they slowly catch up to demand on the other side of that. And you can really only produce so many con Like, you can't produce 20 million consoles between the time that you finish... Uh, developing the the console in R and D, uh, sourcing all of your parts, building them all, boxing them, having them ready to go. You're just not going to have twenty plus million consoles on launch day. So it, it's difficult in that regard because there's always going to be a finite number. And if they ever hit five million plus, they're doing banger job uh, of of having their shit ready. So. That's one part of the equation, is that there's always going to be a finite number of these things, and having millions is already pretty good, but it's still, it's still not going to stop it, because ultimately, as we've seen, there are obviously more than 2.5 million people that want to have this console on launch day. So that is the next part of the equation, and like you were talking about, is that there are people that are willing to wait, that don't give a fuck, they don't want the console right now, or they don't need the console right now, they have the ability to hold off on it, they're not chomping at the bit to have the newest, uh, console right on launch day. And so, it doesn't, they're, they're not part of the equation, just the people that really desperately fucking need to have this thing on day one. Like any piece of tech or software or whatever, they need to have it day one. Um... The challenge then becomes, because there's a finite number of available that you can produce, and it's usually less than the demand at the time, uh, is that scalpers are inevitably going to exist. The only real way to prevent scalping en masse, as we've seen it, is you have to keep online retailers in check, because bots are a major problem there. You have to be able to uh, develop ways of ensuring that Sony tried to do more big box in-person retailers specifically to try to avoid as much scalping is, as they possible. They don't care. That's the thing. 
Well, if they didn't care, they wouldn't have bothered to even have taken that step. They're supposed to, in the public's eye. But they never did before. It's This is the first year they ever did it. Yeah, it's, so why it's, now? They don't give a fuck, bro. They're so, so I'm not saying they. I'm not saying they do. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting around to my answer for what you know. What else you're supposed to do about it? I, I, whether or not the big company gives a fuck doesn't actually factor into this equation at all. They're going to produce the most consoles they can before launch day every time because the best possible marketing outside of selling out is that there's a there's a crossover point of selling out and not enough people having the console. And the amount of angry press versus good press of selling out. So there's selling out, and now it's like, oh, everyone wants our console. That's fucking dope. Look at how amazing our console is. It sold out in 14.5 minutes. It's incredible. Everyone wants to get their hands on it. That's how good our console is. That's marketing. But then you have people that are going to be countering that, saying this is a fucking shit launch. There's not enough consoles. Why didn't you wait until you had... 10, 15 million consoles to supply the demand on day one. Why are you doing this? Now we get to wait around or we have to spend, you know, we have to wait until April or fucking whenever, or we have to spend a bunch of money on scalpers. So there's, there's positive and negative press that comes with weaponizing FOMO, whether they're doing it intentionally or not. And then, so to get back to my point is that, uh, ultimately scalpers will only exist so long as there are people willing to pay those prices. So- so my, I posit that you don't bother getting mad at Sony or Microsoft. You get mad at the people buying the shit from the scalpers. That's who you need to get mad at. Because if, if Sony and Microsoft put out two and a half million, three million consoles a piece, and people just weren't going to buy a Sony PlayStation 5 for 1200 US dollars, then scalpers wouldn't be as big of a problem. The reason why it's there is because there is demand and there is demand that's above the current MSRP of those consoles on the market. So you're looking at a $500 console, but for a lot of first movers in the market, they're looking at it as being worth $1,200 to them. And as long as that's there, and there is supply, and the suppliers are the scalpers, the supply will rise to meet that demand, and they'll cancel each other out inevitably. And so as long as those two are there, so it's not the console manufacturer, I mean, they can literally, literally, even if they wanted to be, like, this was like some fucking diamond market, where we're sitting on 98% of the diamonds in the world, just to slow burn that shit, so that when you go to buy your engagement ring, you've got to take out a second mortgage on the house you don't own to buy an engagement ring for your wife so that she's happy with your shit. Even though that rock is worth about fucking fifteen dollars, but we're gonna make it out of scarcity worth four to five thousand dollars for some big shit, some VS2 plus shit or whatever the fuck you want to get your hands on. Even if they went that route, it still comes down to whether or not there is enough demand at that price point for the scalpers to chase after. If the scalpers had no market to chase after, the scalpers go away. So. Uh, I would blame the people buying the consoles from the scalpers. I don't blame the scalpers. I don't blame Sony or Microsoft. I blame the people who can't wait. And then if they get caught with consoles in their hands, like, like, like imagine if this group bought up 3,500 PlayStation 5s. It's a shitload of money. That's well over, you know, that's, uh, that's the th thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars just sitting around and they can't meet the price point that they're hoping for, and they only make a matter. few bucks. I mean, even if they even if they sell it at the, the it's it's a win win. You know, if I went to if I went to Best Buy right now, well, if they're making twenty bucks off of it instead of making five hundred dollars yeah, or seven hundred dollars yeah, off of it, less worth, people will go out of the way to, to scalp in the first place. The reason yeah, why somebody goes out is it's a guaranteed two to one flip. Of course people are gonna fucking go and do two to one yeah. flip on a carton of eggs. My ass will be buying up entire fucking farmville levels of eggs to turn that shit around and flip it, but there's no market for that shit. So there's no scalpers of eggs. The scalpers of toilet paper well, a while reason, ago. The reason why there's no market for that is because there's there's supply. It's a supply and demand market, like anything. It's that's what I'm saying, market, right? Yeah, that's that's, so, that's exactly so, what I'm saying. So, so yes, I guarantee you, if you couldn't get toilet paper, yes, like we couldn't for a while, exactly, people are going to have it for sale, and you're going to be like, you know what? I really yes. want to wipe my ass with good toilet paper. Yes, I'm going to pay double. 
Yes. Now, are you going to get mad at the person that's willing to pay double to get what they want? And and thus and thus bringing the price up of toilet paper because there's so many people that are willing to pay more for that product that they want because the demand is low. I well, don't think kinda, I the only problem with that is that as crazy as it is, and I understand the analogy here, but we should probably use a different product because toilet paper no. is a little no, yes, because toilet paper, unless you have a bidet at home or you want to use Kleenex or paper towel or sandpaper, there's only so many things you're wiping your ass with. It's a product that is in a different category than a console on launch day. So, like, if let's choose no, no, a different no, no, product. No, 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 no. The concept is identical. The concept is the same, so but you can't compare demand. those. That's, that's what we're talking about here. It but doesn't matter. For, it doesn't Jeff, matter. Jeff, if Jeff, talking- supply and demand operates differently with different, with different, really c- commodities. Yes, I went to school for this shit. This, you're literally talking about the one thing that I spent too much money on to know is that and- you're talking about it. It's like it's like a an, a luxury good oh. versus non luxury goods. I mean, you're wrong. You can talk out your ass, but you're wrong. Adam, I'm not talking about the product. Yes, you are. Never mind. That's why I said we need to choose different products to compare. The concept is the same of supply and demand, but they're different products. I'm talking about supply and demand. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. The, The philosophy behind supply and demand is identical. It doesn't matter if you're talking about toilet paper, toothpaste, homes, Living spaces, iPhones, uh, PlayStations, supply and demand concept. Th- what supply and demand is, is the supply of something and the demand of something. So why are you telling me that it's different depending on the product or what it is? Supply and demand is supply and demand. Because if you're going to get upset at somebody in that instance about what it is, well, is I'm that in that instance? getting upset, Adam. Because I'm we're trying... About- why the prices are what they are and why people are willing to pay. It is the demand of the product. Yes. It is the demand of housing. This is why when housing markets go up, it's because there isn't enough inventory. It doesn't matter if it's, if it, it, it literally doesn't matter what it is. That's what I'm trying. You're trying to tell me otherwise. It is quite literally supply and demand. If you've got 10 of this, whether it's bottles of water or houses or toothpaste, and then you've got so many people that want this product or this thing, it's the exact same philosophy. I don't know what you're arguing about. The thi- Because we're talking conceptually about who to place blame on. But I wasn't talking about who to place blame on. I'm talking about supply and demand. Yes, I know, understand. But you you were talking about supply and demand in the concept that you that when I say I blame the scalpers and you want to say we, you should be blaming Sony and Microsoft, the ultimate supplier, the original supplier, is because yes. if they had supplied more, then it yes. wouldn't be there. I am I, Yes, I am saying that in this instance and why you can't and why I'm saying that it's difficult to compare a console to toilet paper in the, in the analogy we were using is because one is in a necessity market and one is not. And no, so not. while the supply and demand no. is, yes, yes you, operates yes. the same, yes, you, it you is a right. hard one thing to compare for that purpose. One is a necessity, but supply and demand is the same. So if you have a bajillion PlayStations available, people are not going to scalp it because they know that the margins, nobody's going to pay it because they can walk down the street and, and buy one. And... and and if there is enough toilet paper available, it's the same concept. And why? Why? So you're OK. So ignoring the toilet paper thing, what we're coming down to the same conversation of me putting it on the scalpers and you putting it, which is literally you arguing supply side and me arguing demand side in terms of where the blame really ultimately puts better for each i'm all i'm saying is if the supply was there then yes. you wouldn't have the problem i, under, I understand I, is the I, understand. <laughs> I understand you went to school for it you're trying to tell me i'm yes, wrong yes because you were because you weren't understanding the comparison i made because you wanted to talk pure supply demand and i thought you were talking about it in the con- in the in the confines of your analogy and not just raw supply and demand. If it's raw supply and demand, yes. But that's pricing and elasticity and product market, all separate things within the confines of supply and demand. But there's a misunderstanding. So moving past that, the idea is this. 
if you, there are two, there's two sides to this, supply and demand in terms of who could be placed blame on. Supply would be the manufacturer, Microsoft and Sony. Demand is the market that is willing to pay $1,200 for a PlayStation 5. If the demand for at $1,200 isn't there, just like if the supply was there, the scalpers go away in either instance. Scalpers exist only because of the, the market play of supply and demand. So, if you have a bunch of consoles, yes, that solves the problem on that side. If you don't have people that can't wait and are willing to spend $1,200, that also solves the scalper problem. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, for me, because of what I talked about earlier and why I prefaced it leading into that, is that even if they were, uh, which they aren't. I promise you that Microsoft and Sony, if they had the ability to make 5 million consoles for November launch, they would have made 5 million consoles for November launch. Sony and Microsoft aren't sitting on, like, Canada's maple oh, syrup problem. supply. It's a Sony problem. It's not a people problem. It's not a buyer problem. It's not a scalper problem. That's a Sony problem. They've created a product that is in such demand. They've created such a hype. They've created such a brand, and now they can't perform when they need to. And the reality is they don't care because whether they make a, a million, two million copies of a PlayStation 5, they're selling out. They don't care, Adam, if you have a PS5 in your house because they know somebody is going to, is going to buy the same product. Their, their, their margin— I'm not, I'm not saying they care. They get the money either way. It would be different if Sony's prices went up because of supply and demand, but it's, it, it isn't Sony's Sony it's makes it's an same, aftermarket. It, Sony makes the same cut no matter what. Yes. That is it. They, they are the problem. Ultimately, it's not the people that want it. It is Sony's issue. They've created such a huge demand and they cannot follow through. So what do people do? They go, well, how bad do I want this? And they go, well, I'm willing to pay $1,500 for a PlayStation. That is not the fault of the person that was willing to pay 15. You don't get angry at that person. That's just like going, you know what? Why in the hell are you going to spend your money the way I don't want you to spend your money? You're fucking it up for everybody else. Am I really fucking it up for everyone else? Or do I really want to get my hands on this product that has been hyped up for what? Seven or eight years or how long it's been since we got a, a new console? I, I'm not going to blame anybody for that, dude. I see people on Twitter that have got 15, 20 of these fucking things taking selfies for the gram. I'm not going, fuck this. You're the goddamn problem. Sony's the problem. Make more consoles. If you can't make more consoles, that's a you problem. Let the, let the free market do, do what the free market does. If, the, if Sony made a garbage product and it was a hot fucking steaming pile of garbage, there might be some that'll sell for 12, 1500 bucks. But I'll tell you, a whole lot less will sell. If they've got a good, solid product, and the hype is real, and people want to buy it, they're going to they're gonna pay. People will pay three, dollars $4,000 for it, I bet. If, if, if there was only 10 of them left, if you go, hey, guys, actually, if there, there, there's only 1,000 PlayStation 5s left, and ain't no more coming till April, guys, I'm sorry. That $1,500 is going to go up to five grand, and they'll sell every single one of them because... Supply and demand. That's just that's just it. That's just the name of the game. So I'm not I'm not blaming people that are buying it. Uh and I'm not blaming the scalpers. That is the Sony problem. That's an Xbox problem. <laughs> I don't know what the solution is, ultimately, because the well that's the that's the solution that happens inevitably but on launch day you can't you can only you can only have so much shit happening is that obviously like i said before there is a crossover point where it's not a good look for companies that are obviously trying to avoid it you can say they don't care but if they didn't care they wouldn't bother to do the shit that they've been doing at all Everyone is trying to make an effort to reduce scalping because online shopping has particularly run the shit through the roof. If nobody cared, they wouldn't do anything. They'd say, look, guys, it's unfortunate that, they, that it we, happened. This is we, ultimately up to retailers. This is out of our hands. The retailers buy it from us. Sony and Microsoft make their money. The only reason why money. Sony and Microsoft care in the least bit because they make more scalpers. money if people like their products. Be because the only reason why they give a fuck 
is because they're realizing that the scalpers are making more money off their consoles than they are. That's the they that extra bit of money that they're spending, they want the consumer on the other end to buy more of their products. That's all that is. That's the only reason why they would even remotely give a fuck. That goes not, completely counter out, uh, that counters what you said they, earlier about them not caring they because would, they've already sold the console and they don't care how it ends up in somebody I else's said, hands. It's the only reason why they would care is because they because it's it's like any company. If somebody's gonna go out there and make more money off their console, they're going shit. <laughs> that that's a that's a that sucks balls but at the end of the day we're still selling all of our consoles as soon as they put out another wave of four or five hundred thousand consoles sold instantly and the only way to combat that is once again more consoles if that means you got to scale up beforehand if, if whatever it is that you need to do then you got to do what you got to do if not hey man that's just the that's just being i guess way too successful and people just want to see your shit it's it's just the way it is. It's like when you go to the movie theater and Avengers Endgame comes out and every single auditorium is sold out and you got people that are selling IMAX tickets for 50 bucks a piece to go in and watch it. How bad do you want to see it? Well, somebody goes in and books 20, 20 seats. Why in the fuck are you booking 20 seats? Well, well I guess, I guess the question is why, why is it in some instances that scalping is outright illegal where in other instances it's, it's not? So, for instance, trying to scalp tickets outside for sporting events or scalping tickets outside for concert venues and things of that uh, nature. What what is it if if ultimately the tickets is aren't... it illegal? Yes, in a lot of places, hundred percent illegal. You you get you get fined and your shit taken if you're trying to scalp shit outside of venues all the time. It's happened for eons and eons. So I there's mean, the, I, the, the I, reason I, yeah. is ultimately is that people don't want to have to see it because. It ends up, unfortunately, reflecting back poorly upon whatever the 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 product is on the other side because you want the most amount of people to get at it without feeling like they're being had by something that the comp they feel the company could be doing something about, which in this case is is unfortunately people sitting on thousands of consoles and selling them at twice the price. Because, oh, obviously, always there's going to be people that are going to spend loads of money on it, which is why scalpers exist in the first place. But it ultimately comes back on Dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to be the first one to say it. If I could invest 10 grand into buying PlayStations and I can double my money, I'm doing that in a hot second. I'm, I, I'm a, sure you would. In a hot, in a hot, I wouldn't even think twice about it. I'm in a hot sure, second. I'm sure, I'm sure you would. If I could walk over to Best Buy right now and they had a shipment and they're like, bro, you can buy as many of these as you want and then you can go flip them on eBay right now, I'd buy every single one of those that I possibly could and I'd put them all up on eBay and I have a nice, pretty packaged and I'd ship it out to each person that wants to spend the money. That's what I'd do. And I'd double my money. And then I'd have another down payment for another, another property. If I'm just being honest. I have zero I, sympathy. I, 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 get, I get it. And if people are that upset that they can't get their PlayStation 5 with no games and they can't wait an extra month or two or they have to spend $1,200 because Sony refuses to, to pump out enough of these bad boys, boo fucking who. <laughs> womp womp. I'll be the bad guy.